हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ सत्यजित कांबळे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन फिजिक्स चांगू काना ठाकूर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स अँड सायन्स कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल ऑटोनॉमस टुडे आय विल बी टेकिंग युनिट टू ऑफ एन्व्हायरमेंटल सायन्स अँड द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज एन्व्हायरमेंटल पोल्युशन मेन टॉपिक्स ऑफ दिस चॅप्टर आर एअर पोल्युशन वॉटर पोल्युशन नॉइज पोल्युशन सॉइल पोल्युशन थर्मल पोल्युशन अँड न्यूक्लिअर हेझार्ड्स एअर पोल्युशन एअर पोल्युशन इज अ सिच्युएशन वेन कन्सिडरेबल अमाऊंट ऑफ गॅस एंटर्स इन अवर एन्व्हायरमेंट अँड देअर बाय फोर्स रिस्क टू ह्युमन लाईफ ॲज वेल ॲज रिस्क टू द लाईफ ऑफ अदर ऑर्गॅनिझम्स सो इन सिम्पल टर्म्स वी कॅन से air pollution is addition of certain substances in concentration that may cause undesirable effect on living organisms and environment air pollutants are those substances which cause unwanted and undesirable effect on human beings when they enter in atmosphere so broadly air pollutants can be divided into two types gaseous air pollutants they are gaseous in nature for example oxides of sulfur so2 so3 oxides of nitrogen like uh, like n2o that is nitrous oxide and uh, no2 that is nitrogen dioxide carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide these are also gaseous air pollutants air pollutants can also be classified under solid air pollutants example dust soot aerosol uh, pm 2.5 that means uh, particulate matter below the size of 2.5 micrometer pm 10 that means particulate matter below the size of 10 micrometer air pollutants can also be classified into two other categories primary air pollutant and uh, secondary air pollutant now primary air pollutants are those which are directly released from industry like uh, sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide secondary air pollutants are those which are formed after reaction in primary air pollutant for example when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide mixed with the rain then a new compound is formed which is known as acid rain same way when smoke mixed with the fog a new compound is formed that is smog air quality standards have been prescribed by central pollution control board now air quality standard is calculated based on eight pollutants that is particulate matter ozone सल्फर डायऑक्साईड नायट्रोजन डायऑक्साईड कार्बन मोनॉक्साईड लीड अँड अमोनिया सो बेस्ड ऑन दीज पोल्युटंट्स वी अनालाइज व्हॉट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ एअर सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंडेक्स इफ द क्वालिटी ऑफ एअर इज बिटवीन झिरो टू फिफ्टी देन द एअर इज कन्सिडर टू बी गुड इफ द क्वालिटी ऑफ एअर इज बिटवीन द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ फिफ्टी वन टू हंड्रेड then we consider air to be satisfactory if the pollutant rate is very high then the air quality index can also reach to the value of 401 to 500 in that case air is considered to be severe there are two main sources of air pollution natural sources and anthropogenic sources natural sources include volcanic eruptions forest fire and pollen from plants while major share of air pollution is because of anthropogenic sources like uh, vehicles industries cutting down of trees etc anthropogenic air pollution includes vehicular pollution and from vehicles carbon monoxide nitrogen oxides and hydrocarbons are released on the other hand there are different industries like thermal power plant 
or uh, metallurgical industries which released fly ash and sulfur because they are based on burning of coal so air pollution can cause severe health impact our respiratory system has a capability to filter large particles through our nose but there are still gaseous pollutants and small particles which can go very deep inside our lungs and then a person may suffer from respiratory disorders like cancer asthma bronchitis and emphysema so there is a possibility of lung cancer there is a possibility in difficulty in breathing and sometimes even a fine branch of lungs may block and this situation is known as bronchitis moreover these pollutants can also affect air sac which are the fine uh, small sacs and they are responsible for trapping oxygen and then oxygen is transferred to other parts of the body so these air sacs may swell and may get irritated and this condition is known as emphysema so there is a possibility of all kinds of respiratory diseases because of air pollutant air pollution can also affect plants there are number of diseases in plants because of air pollution chlorosis is the disease in which leaf lose the chlorophyll pigment and turn yellow in color necrosis is the disease in which the leaves develop tissues which are totally dead dead so black spots are developed on surface of leaves epinasty is a rolling down or curling of leaves in presence of high pollutants air pollution can also impact aquatic life because these air pollutants can mix with rain water and come down in lakes or river in that scenario fishes and other aquatic animals may also die air pollutants can also cause impact on material our taj mahal have turned yellow in color because of acid rain apart from that sulfur dioxide affect fabric metal and paint ozone can cause cracking of rubber oxides of nitrogen can affect cotton and rayon fibers we can control air pollution to certain extent by following these measures first we need to do environment impact assessment it is the method by which we analyze impact of possible project like industry mining etc on environment so before any project has given a approval they all are screened on the grounds of environment second since coal release high amount of fly ash in the environment therefore we try to use low sulfur coal we can also control industrial pollution by using technology for example we can use cyclone separator cyclone separator is a equipment in which we pass dirty air and rotate it at very high speed with this heavy particles like dust will settle down at the bottom and clean air is collected from the other side we can also use electrostatic precipitator in electrostatic precipitator dirty air is passed from the one side and the dust particles they get attracted to the electrically charged rods after trapping all the dust particles pure air can be collected from the other end apart from technology we need to control vehicular pollution and this can be done by regular pollution check we need to use fuel efficient engine in vehicles we need to promote public transport in order to control air pollution and lastly we need to plant more trees we can also reduce air pollution by shifting towards the 
renewable, renewable energy sources like solar energy, wind energy, etc. Thank you.